everyone happy new year 2019 is here and it's about to get lit with everything she this is the beginning of the year there's so many people who are switching courses the other people who have just done with school and maybe you might be interested with uh, uh you might be interested in a course in cabin crew but you don't know how to go about it or where to start or which is uh one of the good schools to enroll to so i got you all covered just keep watching would you like to see more episodes of everything she make sure to subscribe and click on notification bell so that you get notified every time i post you have to go through an interview first that is a bit competitive because the, the, like our interview, we were like 180 people and only 40 proceeded to do cabin crew. But the good thing, the rest of the people who did not who won, who did not qualify to pursue the course, they were given other choices to make from, from a variety of other courses that the school offers. So yeah, like air ticketing, like ground operations, stuff like that. Which is a good thing because not all is lost, especially because they have like a 2000 um, application fee. So at least they also make sure that that doesn't go to waste. Yeah, so like the first day that you, um, the procedure is online, everything is online. So all the details are online, the procedure is online. So you just need to head there and apply. After you're done making your application, you submit, then you pay the 2000 uh, application fee. And then you wait for them to contact you back and tell you the, 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 the interview date, the interview dates. So what happens once you go for the interview, the very first thing, it's like in four steps. Yeah, four steps. So the first thing, the first step, they actually take all the rest, the, all the applicants and they have their, their height measured. So that is the first uh, step that you have to qualify for you to proceed to the interview. So for those people who don't uh, qualify at that first step, of course, they are told that they don't qualify, but there are other courses that they can be taken. And then now that is the first like selection is done. Then you proceed to a uh, step two of the interview. So in step two, uh, stage two, step two, whatever, this is what happens. You are given, you are given a, a five minute quiz on a computer and it's just supposed to test your grammar yeah grammar because you're just given very open very easy questions but which are complex which um which are how to say it anyway which are not easy to choose because you're given choices you can hardly choose what to answer with okay like question like this let me give an example so that you get what i'm saying because i'm using a lot of words and Hardly nothing is anyway. So you are given a question like what kind of fruits or what type of fruits would you prefer? Yeah, just things like that. Now you have a clue. And it's like a five minute quiz of ten questions and yeah. Uh, after that the five minutes are over, whether you're done or not, the machine just automatically goes off and um submit your assignment to whatever to the person who is supposed to check or mark or yeah yeah so that is what happens and after that you you go to the third phase of the interview uh in the third phase of the interview you are just seated in like a hall and you're given blank uh you're given papers on the paper, there is a photo that is in black and white in every person's photo. And it's like the same photo in all the papers. And you're told to describe whatever you're seeing in like a paragraph. You make like a paragraph. I think they give you... Okay, guys, I did my interview in June, in May last year. So I am not... I am missing some details. But I think they tell you... I'm not sure whether they give you the, the number of words or they just tell you to write a paragraph. Uh, describing what you can see in the photo 
it is very easy they just they just want to test your grammar they just want to see the words that you will use how well you can express yourself just to see how good of a communicator you are yeah so yeah that also does not take long and once the time is over you just hand in your papers and proceed to the final and proceed to the final stage of the interview now this is where the problem comes in hey guys you you actually they actually they are very fair they they give you they give you a break to just go have tea tea break or something so that by the time you come back you are ready so after the tea break uh the i was not actually on a tea break i was just sipping and i actually realized that i was just talking about tea break and i was sipping on my tea anyway so after the tea break you come to the final stage of the interview and the final stage this is what happens you meet a panel of judges yeah who are like eight, not even five, like eight people. And if a person who freaks out, trust me, you are going to freak out. But they are very friendly. They they, they tell uh, you you just get in, you introduce yourself. They introduce the set themselves, and they tell you they, yeah they start now asking you questions like why do you want to pursue a career in in cabin crew they also ask you what you've done ever since you 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 completed high school they just uh they ask you if there are any other languages that you speak besides swahili and english and guys here's an interesting an interesting one when it was asked that asked that i said i also speak french or and you guys don't make that mistake because if you say or suggest that you know any other language someone from the panel will talk to you in that language like someone is from the panel panel was actually talking to me in french asking me questions in french and guys i froze i literally froze because like the last time i think i was in second year the last time i tr i had french classes I was like in second year and I have really like forgotten a lot of them and I haven't taken time to refresh or refresh on the language uh, be it online or or just trying to go to classes no I haven't so yeah I am telling you guys I had to summon every French I have ever seen learned had to just respond because I was not about to embarrass myself in front of eight people and guys are outside who are waiting. So I was not about to embarrass myself like that. So I really tried. I might have mismatched or wrongly answered a couple of questions, but at least it was in French. So I tried. Yeah. When you're called after the interview is over, you're supposed to go with your original certificates. And you guys don't make a mistake of going with a fake certificate because they scan. And a lot of people got in trouble because, of course, if you phoned with a fake document, then you'll have some explanations to do because they actually scan for the authentic for the authenticity of the authenticity of your document. So yeah, that's another thing. Don't make a mistake of going with fake documents because they actually scan and check the legitimacy of the documents yeah so after that that's just it you give an admission letter you go home and you wait for the opening day decide and actually join me in the most interesting career because it is interesting you get to travel a lot you get to meet a lot of people but yes you get to see different cultures and different people you have a chance to learn different languages because your career uh requires you to and yeah it is fun so guys feel very welcome to if you have anything that you want when if you have any questions any comments or anything that you would like me to respond to just make sure that you leave them comment section you know where the comment section is so make sure that you leave your comments questions or anything there yes and that's just it guys till next time